Okay, so I haven't done a video for a long time, <laughs> um, but I looked on the channel and I saw that there were like 300 people subscribed and I was very surprised to say the least. <laughs> um, so I figured it would be beneficial to give an update on how COVID and fall and like just the semester went. Um, I just tried to film this video without like talking points and then I realized it wasn't organized and made no sense. So we're gonna keep it quick and go through my points. Also, I live next to a highway because <laughs> I don't live in the dorm anymore, um, which I'll talk about. That's actually my first talking point. But yeah, if you hear trucks, literally right next to the highway, but it's fine because the place is adorable. Um, so why did I move out the dorm? Um, around, let's say, when was it? Like January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Like July? I think July, like right in July, the school um, emailed everyone that has like a single or just like dorming in general. And they said, you need to refill out your housing application. Um, like if you still want to dorm and like people will probably have to have their dorms moved around just because like due to COVID. And keep in mind, like we all picked out our dorms, um, like I think May, April. Um, so like we, everyone was set. I was supposed to have the same dorm I was in last year that I've already filmed a room, like a dorm tour for. And then I was looking at like the form that they tell you to fill out and like it gives like disclaimers. And one of my disclaimers said that I would not be getting my single and that I would be being, that I would be placed into a double. To me, that's a no. I just can't live with other people that I just don't know just because of particularities is that a word um that's like no offense to no one it's just like a preference and just also I like to have space and I like my own space and I like doing what I want to my space so I just don't want to be like that terrible roommate that someone else has and like hates to go to I mean I think I'm a nice person but like um I just I know I can be picky about how things look in terms of like home wise um, and like being clean because I've had instances where like I've had roommates that don't clean. But moving on, um, that's a point. So they said I would be getting a double and I asked like if there's anything that I could do because um, like I just did not want to be in a double. I still wanted to live on the dorm just because I felt like that would be easier. Um, and they said, I'm sorry, like there's nothing we can do. And my mom was like, but you like are like kind of immunocompromised. And like in reality, I don't really think so. She thinks I am to like whatever reasons, we don't need to get into that. Um, so long story short, I ended up looking for an apartment literally that day that they sent that email and that like they got back to me saying, um, that like we can't put you in a single. So I started looking for apartments and I found this so cute two and a half bedroom apartment and it was only $12.50, um, which is uh, like so much cheaper than if you look at dorm rent. Um, the single I was in was like 8,000 or 9,000 a semester. <coughs> no. Um, so like just looking at the like how much you save, it was a no brainer to me at least. Then I had to convince my parents to let me get an apartment, um, which was kind of funny and interesting, especially since I was doing all of this while I was in New York doing two internships. So like I was looking for apartments in Chicago that I couldn't physically go to because I was in a whole other state. Um, side note, if you guys want me to talk about like my internship experience, I don't mind, I can, um, but, but that'll be like another video. Back to the point. Um, so yeah, I had to convince my parents to let me get this apartment. And after like giving my reasonings of how it's just cheaper um, and like paying for it would, should I explain how I paid for it? 
So at the school, when you get your loans, you can request a certain amount to cover your rent only if like you're going to school. So that's how I pay for my rent. Um, it's like basically dorming just when you get an apartment because you're living in a state because you're going to college, it counts as off-campus housing that the school can technically still cover. I mean, you're still paying for it technically because it's a loan that you need to pay back. Um, so like when you do that and you put it in your like, you make your off-campus housing request and like budget request thing, then they can like add more money to your loan and then you get a refund with like your rent money for the semester which I do not touch it. That is your rent money, leave it alone if you do this, by the way. Um, so that's what I do, I like put it in a savings account, I just leave it and I only use it to pay my rent because I don't wanna be homeless. Um, so yeah, that was that whole thing. If you guys want me to go into more detail about getting an apartment and like decorating it and like showing it, I can do that too. But this is just supposed to be a quick overview of the fall semester. Um, so again, back to the point. So after convincing my parents to like, let me get this apartment, they co-signed on the lease with me because, you know, um, I just got a credit card. Well, you don't know, but I just got a credit card, I think that summer, that was my first one. So I didn't really have a credit, um, like history. So that's why I needed my parents to co-sign and then they did. Um, and because I wasn't going to be in Chicago until a while they let my boyfriend pick up the keys for me um so that like i could technically start but not move in yet until i got back um and then i moved in let's see if i can place pictures i, I probably i don't know we'll see if i can do that <laughs> but um and it was it was definitely an ordeal because the dorms had elevators this apartment has stairs and it's it's only the second floor up so it's really not that bad, but the stairs are like a twisty stairway. So moving things, it was a long day. Let's just say, and I have a lot of stuff and it's a two bedroom apartment and I have a lot of stuff. Um, so it was definitely a long day to move in. Um, and then we're gonna skip, skip, skip a few days. And then the start of the fall semester comes and if I'm gonna be honest, um, I genuinely thought that this like this semester wouldn't be that bad. Um, just because I was like, hmm, like we wouldn't really need to go for classes. We could just do things at home. I could do my work during other classes, um, which do I suggest that? I don't know, but sorry, I'm looking at my list um it was looking back at it now at the end of it it was a lot harder than i thought it would be which i feel like is how i am with a lot of things um i'm very optimistic but the semester was hard um how else can i explain it i took five classes so i'm in the fashion course so i have the two fashion studios and then i have um I took an art history this year and then I took a humanities this year. And then I took a photo class um, because I also studied photography. And all of the classes themselves were absolutely lovely. The um, information that was learned, like the feelings that were had during those classes were fantastic. Um, the things I learned about myself in terms of fashion and like what I wanna do and how I execute things and um, just, I don't know, all of that stuff, things I learned about Indian art, things I learned about mythology, like all of those things are were so lovely and interesting. But when it came to the workload, hmm, um, it was hard. <laughs> Fashion itself is already hard. Um, this is my junior year, so my second year in the program. And, hmm, like in the beginning, for construction and design, you have your projects, and I can go deeper into this. Actually, I already did in another video. It's my fashion program explanation something video. Um, but you have like your projects, like your historical and all that other stuff. And 
a lot of the design and construction projects that were happening, you both you had to make garments for both classes, and normally you're just making garments for construction. Um, so trying to keep up with that, making your patterns, doing your muslims, doing corrections, and doing new patterns for construction, then to make a final garment, and then to still be doing your um, design, so you're making your collection, you're doing your fabric manipulations, you're doing fabric sourcing, you're designing, doing like 50, 100 sketches, and then narrowing them down, illustrating them all properly. <laughs> and it was just a lot um, that I didn't expect, and there were different hurdles that I had to overcome personally. So that was hard. Um, and then with like my other classes, I think my easiest class this year was my photography class. But my other classes, like my liberal arts, there was definitely a lot of reading that I did not have time for. Um, like my Indian art class, there were like six different readings. A lot of them were like 80 plus pages or like 20 plus pages. And that's hard to do when you're trying to do so many different patterns. It was just hard to balance. It's definitely doable. I just wasn't that great at it this time around. I think I learned a couple lessons. So I think I should be better at it um, next semester, hopefully. <laughs> um, but if I'm gonna be like completely, completely honest, I am definitely like disappointed in myself. I'm definitely disappointed in myself. Also, I'm sorry if you're wearing headphones and you heard that. I'm definitely disappointed in myself because um, I didn't finish things in time. Like for other classes, like for my Indian class, my photography class, those were the only two classes I finished on time. Um, my humanities class, I technically, like I'm still finishing it, so I'm not incomplete for that. Um, I'll still get a grade because I just need to finish an essay that I'm procrastinating about right now, but I'll finish it. It'll be done. Um, and then for my fashion classes, I wasn't able to finish my finals because I worked too much. Um, and I don't know if I've said this in another video, but if you have the option to not work or to just work very minimal hours, like I'm talking like five, not even over 10. Like if, you, if you're taking five classes, Working over 10 hours a week is hard. Um, it's, again, doable, anything's possible. But if you're, especially like during COVID, just like everyone's feelings are so different. Um, your motivation levels are so different. Your energy levels are very different. Um, so yeah, I didn't finish. So I'm getting it incomplete for now. And then I will be finishing it soon like within like the next week or two and then I'll get my grade for the semester um but that was like definitely hard for me to deal with I don't I haven't really like told people <laughs> the only people that know are like my mom my stepdad and my boyfriend and like maybe one or two friends not even like all of my friends um just because I'm not the kind of person that doesn't finish on time so it was hard and it made me feel very uncomfortable, but I just, it's a different time. It's definitely a hard time right now. Um, so it's just like getting used to things um, and realizing that like, this is life, you just have to work through it. Um, so those were how my classes went. Um, how I feel at the moment, I'm feeling more relaxed than I was a week ago or like two weeks ago. I wasn't really sleeping that much because I was trying to finish everything, which I again don't suggest. It's obviously like if you're going to school period, you're gonna have an all nighter at least once. Um, just try not to make it a habit. But this isn't a tip video. This is like an experience video. So I'm gonna try to keep the tips to a minimal. Um, but I guess I feel like I explained how I feel. Um, I love how I said this isn't a tip video, but I'm gonna give you some tips and because that's actually my last point. Um, if you are coming to school in the spring, 
I don't know what to tell you to expect. Um, just because with how things are in the world, um, we don't really know like how things will be. So, oh, I have a package, one second. Okay, package was delivered. Um, I was talking about tips kind of, but yeah. Um, I don't really know if there are like legitimate things in terms of like how to do this and how to do that. But what I would say is to give yourself a break. Don't think you'll be, I mean, I don't know if you've been to college yet, if you're watching this, um, but if you have been to college and took a break, um, don't think this will be like normal. Um, definitely give yourself extra time to do things, like even more time than you would normally. And I'm talking about like, like, I, like if even if you already give yourself extra time to do certain things, give yourself even more time just because you don't know if you'll be super exhausted or super unmotivated. Um, and I feel like it's really good to include that in your schedule or just like, if you do a schedule or just in your thought process, like how you plan to get things done. Um, but I don't know if there's like, I don't even know if this video is gonna be helpful. I feel like I pretty much rambled um, but I guess if there's anything that you have any questions on, please ask me any questions. Um, I always leave my Instagram or like my email if you email, um, or even on the comments. So yeah, feel free. I've also been seeing so many sweet comments about the let's talk about SAC videos. Um, those always warm my heart. It's really nice to know that other people are um, finding them useful because I know like I'm not like a popular person, <laughs> but I love um, still being able to help like anybody or like give anybody tips or anybody an insight onto how things are um, without like a pretty filter. And when I say pretty filter, I mean like everything's fine because <laughs> it's not, everything is, interesting i'll say that everything is interesting um but i guess that's it that's the end i hope you are doing well during this time i hope you have happy holidays you see my christmas tree um like i said if you guys want to see a tour of this apartment and like how i got it if you want to know more specifically about like the projects i did for fashion let me know. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I'm gonna try to finish, no, I will finish my essay. And that's it.